So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in Z W Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. What's up, YouTube? This is Joe from Zero Four Games, and as you can see in front of you, we've got Ultra Athlete Support in Phantom Rage coming out in the OCG. But not only is this Ultra Athlete Support, I haven't glossed over this as of yet. This is literally going to be a like first impression review as well. But from what I've been hearing, this also supports FAs. The mixing the archetypes together. Phantom Rage is all about now mixing archetypes together, which is really cool and something that I personally, as a hybrid player, love seeing being done officially by Korean Army. So before I get into this, if you enjoyed this, give us a like, give us a subscribe down below, and not only that, ding that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on any other future content here on the channel that we bring for you guys. We really, really enjoy bringing content for you and just those small things let us know that you are enjoying our content and it supports us a lot and we greatly do appreciate it. So keep that up guys, we greatly do thank you. So as all that's said and done, let's get into the Ultra Athletes. I'm not a big Ultra Athletes player, this is more like Dale's territory, he loves the UAs. Um, but uh, from what I gathered, I got some form of understanding, I could already tell this one's going to be good because it's four stars and they don't have any four stars except for one. <laughs> so another level four for the deck is very, very nice. So we have UA Libero Striker, which is a level four Earth Warrior effect monster with 1800 attack on both stats uh, and events. So you can only special summon using the procedure. Rating this card's first effect, this card's name only once per turn. So hard summon on its first effect. And you can only use the second effect this card's name once per turn, so hard activation on the second effect. You can special summon this card from the hand by returning one UA monster you can draw up to the hand, except UA Libra Striker. I believe all the UAs share that summoning condition. You can bounce one to summon a new one. And uh, during your opponent's main phase, quick effect, you can shuffle one level 5 or higher UA from your hand into the deck. And if you do, special summon one UA with a different name from that monster from your deck, then you return this card to the hand. Wow, okay, that's good. Let's just unbrick every card in your hand essentially and just get you to any UA that you want. Level 5 or higher, that's fine. Like 90% of the deck is level 5 or higher. We've even got a new one down below. Definite, definite free of. Like, I really like this. Just literally, they could just have this alone. I believe the deck is just greatly improved. Like, just that literally alone. Then we have UA playing manager, which is level 8. I love how it took this long for them to get a manager. <laughs> like, the thought of that is humorous to me. So we have a level 8 Earth Warrior effect monster with 2,000 attack and 2,600 defense. You can use each effect of the first and second effect once per turn, so hard ones per turn both. If you know what's supposed to be some UA monster or monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. Very nice. Very, very nice. It literally is an unbreakable card. Just that is good. It might as well have been level 4. <laughs> so if this card is supposed to negate every one of these effects, target one card in the field to destroy it. Okay, cool. Negate the effects of all face-up monsters on the field except your eight monsters. Wow! What? What? Oh, wow. Free of? <laughs> Literally just free of. Cool. Next we have, so here's the mix. Is where it mixes in together. So you a hyper stadium fuel spell. This card is always treated as an FA card. Okay, that's good. You can add every one card. This card's name per turn. When this card resolves, you can add to your hand one U A monster from your deck, or one FA monster from your deck, or one U A stadium from your graveyard. Cool. Is there any FA? If there's an FA monster that searches field spells, you can essentially tech that card in and get some consistency with that. That is nice. I like that. I like that. You can reveal one field spell from your hand then and pay 1000 life points during your main phase this turn. You can normal summon one UA or FA monster face up in addition to a normal summon. Let's say you can gain this once per turn. Okay. 
Okay, Dale, you better start getting your hybrid theory brain getting in gear. Like, I can see a lot of potential. There's a lot of potential with the mix. Just for this one, one card alone. It's a mixed card that boosts consistency for both decks. And essentially when you mix them together as well. That is good. I like this. These two cards. Like, these three cards, just alone. Done. That's good. UA Locker Room. Quick play spell. This card's always treated as an FA card. Again, very nice. So, you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Target one UA or FA monster on the field or in your graveyard, return it to this hand, and if you do, gain five of the life points. Then you can apply the following effect. Before any number of UA or FA monsters in your hand to your opponent, and if you do shuffle those revealed cards into that, then draw cards equal to the number of returned cards. Okay, so it can help you on brick. Yeah, it helps you on brick. So long as you have, which then, yeah, since it's always used in FA, if they do have a rotor, I believe they have one that searches um, FA guards. I'm going to quickly gander at this, like, because I believe they do. FA. Uh, is it Navigator? I believe this card is you can type on FA once. No, no, I don't believe it was that one. I believe they do. I swear they do. <laughs> like, I swear they have a search over, which if they do, um, yeah, very good consistency there. Normal that search. Just play this. Uh, bounce that to your bounce that to your hand. Then reshuffle everything in and draw one. Then you gain five one life points as well, so it helps you in time. Um, no, yeah, that's good. I like that. I like this. I like this mix. UA MVP, that's good. I like that. This card's always used as an FA card. You can only activate one card as a card and return. If you UA or FA monster, you control this choice and press monster by battle or inflicts damage to your opponent. After damage calculations, you can press some as many UA or FA monsters with different names from your hand and or grave in defense position. Oh, wow. Talk about MVP. That is good. This is good. Right. That's it, guys. That's it for all the new cards. What do I think? Brilliant. Like, it just supercharged the deck. Like, greatly supercharged both decks. Which so I really like the. This is what I really liked with the um, Raid Raptor Phantom Light mix cards. It supercharged both decks individually, while all still keeping the mix hybrid that they're trying to do and make that consistent. Like, it's very consistent. I can see this going for more. You Again, this is all benefits. It's all, like, greatly hopes that the FA has a search and monster like normal or whatever do something search an FA card if the FA has that I can definitely see a more a UA deck with an FA engine being implemented in forms of like that one monster searcher for these cards alone like it just gives the deck another additional normal summon that can help boost the consistency of the deck I love this I think this is really good it definitely it makes me want to pick up the UA deck. I believe I still have all the FA cards. I just have to pick up literally all the UA cards and then can then work on the athlete deck. It's something that I always for as well. I, I I do recall myself telling all my guy all the guys that uh they should just mix UA and FAs together and just like like make the athlete deck. Just like the the Olympic deck essentially. This is literally what it's gonna be, the Olympic deck. Um but yes guys what do you think? I'm gonna sort of rambling on. Uh, what do you think about this new support? Do you think this hybrid deck can work? And if there is an FA searcher, do you think just adding that into the UA deck helps boost the consistency? I personally do think it is, but it just might be the first four trailing going on. So, as always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, guys, as always, happy dueling.